Just hours from now, the investigation into the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School will officially come to an end. News 8's Ken Pierce is live in the New Haven newsroom with more on the final report due out this afternoon. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Allie and Jeff. Thousands of pages, recordings, pictures, details, it'll all be released this afternoon. Will it answer all our questions and satisfy all those doubters? No, probably not. The full official state police report on Sandy Hook will probably also not surprise us. We've already had leaks and summaries, plus a lot of us were there within an hour of the shooting. We already know details like the shooter kept black garbage bags taped over his bedroom windows, and he was obsessed with mass shootings. We even know he had a bowl of cereal before his rampage. We know he shot and killed his mother first, then he drove to Sandy Hook Elementary School and killed 20 little children and six more adults. Police got there quickly and spent six minutes dealing with another man outside the building who they worried could be involved. He turned out to be no threat. And when they went inside, it turned out the shooter had killed himself several minutes earlier. This report will not have personal information about the people who were there. That's been redacted. It will not have all the crime scene photos either. A task force is still working on whether those should be released to the public. Those on the fringe who think it was all a government hoax or conspiracy will find the report unconvincing, of course. Anyone hoping for a clear motive is also going to be disappointed. All this does is mark the official end of the police investigation. Live in the New Haven Newsroom, I'm Kent Pierce. Back to you.